Hey everybody, it's Nintendo Fan LP, Chapter 1, The Footsteps of Fate. And we're gonna go ahead and continue our Fire Emblem adventure here. Andrew, over here. This is Bulger, the biggest city in all of Sakai. Where's your skyscrapers now? You should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh, my heart, what a dazzling vision of loveliness. Hmm? Wait, oh, beautiful one. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but okay. Would you not favor me with your name, or better yet, your company? Dude, you sound just like fucking Virian. Okay, I promise I won't curse anymore. <laughs> you sound just like Virian from Fire Emblem Awakening. Where are you f Where are you from, sir knight, that you speak so freely to a stranger? Stranger? Ha! Huh, I thought you'd never ask. I am from Lycia. Lycia. I hail from the Kalen Canton, home to men of passion and fire. Shouldn't that be home to callow oafs with loose tongues? Ooh, you're even lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Ranch. I have nothing more to say. Wait, please! Sane, hold your tongue. Ah, Kent, my boon companion, why so severe an expression? If your manner was more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sane. I know that, but how could I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? Would have been discourteous. What do you know of courtesy? Excuse me, you're blocking the road. If you would be so kind as to move your horses... Oh, of course, my, my apologies. Thank you. You, at least, seem honorable enough. Hmm? P pardon me, but I feel we've met before. I beg your pardon. Hey, no fair, Ken. I saw her first. It seems there are no decent men among this year's knights. Let's go, Andrew. I've run out of patience. Wait, please, it's not like that. Sane, you lout. Huh? Not like that. I thought you were... I am not you. Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be... Be what? She's our mission. You're joking. Wait! Run! We're being pursued! Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right on Kia, too. Aren't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindus, is it not? What? Did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. The things I'll do for gold. Oh, well. Time to die, darling. Come on out, boys. Oh no, there are more than I can handle. But I'll I'm not give I'll not give up. Hey, there she is. Huh? What? Whew, finally caught up. Hold you there. Hold, you there! What's your business? Such numbers against a girl, cowards. Even one of you. Every one of you, sorry. You, you're from We can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians meant to do you harm. If it's a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back, I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight, stay out of my way. Well, I can't just stand here and do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us. I am Kent, Knight of Lycia. My companion is Sane. We will follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, my lady? Yes, it is. Andrew and I will lead. Let's go. Alright, so we got two more people. So, first battle, you. You are called Andrew? I want to impress my beauteous one. Beauty, beauteous one. There we go, beauteous one. Let me attack first. Blue units are allies. They are your friends. So there we go. Let's just skip that because Kent. All right. All right. Fine. You'll go first. And let's go here. Attack you. You see that's stupid. You're freaking. Look at your lance is worse than his axe and stuff. You see, you missed. That's what you get. You know, when the first time I played Fire Emblem Awakening, um, ah, you see? There we go. They're gonna explain it to you. The lance is more heroic. And night, you know, basically they're gonna talk about, uh, about the swords being better than the axes and everything, so, all that stuff. So, uh, I'm at your command, alright. 
Let's do that again. Alright. Gonna go here. Yes, I know. I will do this. I will attack with my sword. Hmm. Fine. I will attack with my sword. Ah! He's almost defeated. Now let's deliver the final blow. Yes. Deliver the final blow. <laughs> the final blow. <clears throat> Die. You missed. Haha. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Alright. Good for you. 50. So he's gone. And as you can see that guy on top right with that little emblem on him. He uh, is the... He's the um, leader of this uh, this uh, little party here. Let's use our sword, shall we? Yes, our sword. See, 87% chance to hit him. So you better not fail. You missed again! I guess no harm done. I can't believe he evaded my sword stroke so easily. This is no just. Look closely, the enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? You're right, I was so focused on attacking I didn't see. Your lack of attention may someday cost you your life. Fine, I understand already. Let's go, Ken. Let it go, Ken. If you truly understand, then act like it. Kent worries too much. He's going to grow old before his time. Each type of terrain has, a unique, has unique characteristics. For example, look at the woods and plains. Battle an enemy from the woods and the enemy will likely miss you. However, your attacks will be unimpeded, giving you a distinct advantage. So let's go ahead, go to the woods, and we'll use his sword attack. There you go, you suck. You missed. <laughs> it seems like a wise decision. It seems like a wise decision to leave that bandit in the knights. All right, we'll do that. All right. So let's go ahead into that pre- I know! I'm gonna press start. Remember, you can press start just to skip conversations if you know what they're doing, you know. You missed! Haha! <laughs> I hit you! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Good boy. You. Your name is Sane, right? Yes, Sane. The gallant men of Kylan. That's me. If you insist, why have you not healed yourself? Huh? Hey, I've been injured! What, what a cat I am! To wrinkle that perfect brow of yours with worry for me. Oh my lord. <laughs> I was thinking of giving you a vulnerary, but... It looks like you're fine, so never mind. No, wait, I'll take it! Please, I'll take it! Trade can only be used by units that are adjacent to one another. Oh, come on. I have to move him. Why can't I move her? Yes, yes, yes. Just, just go. You will go over there, trade. So trade items. So we're gonna go ahead and uh Yes, I know what to do. Oh my lord, this is not the first time I played it. Okay, you have to stop. No, select. You're done. Okay, there we go. Fulinary. Use. Done. Good. So basically what's going to happen is every episode will just have a uh, one ba one battle basically. Unless it's something really short, you know, then we won't. Uh, let me see here. I'm on, what am I? I'm on forest, okay. Just want to make sure. 90 versus 26. If I would have missed and he would have hit me, I would have been really pissed. Good boy. Good boy, Kent. Good boy. Alright. Oh, I wish I could go all the way there, but I can't. Uh, let's see here. 100 versus 36. I think that's a safe bet. <laughs> oh, come on. Get that. How? And why don't you get a critical? When I first played Fire Emblem, I... Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright. He missed. <laughs> so I'm going to have to be really smart as the game goes on, because it's not going to be this easy. Um... But uh, when I first started playing Fire Emblem, I had thought that um, there was, uh, like, hit was 
the actual damage and like MT was like something else. Like I didn't, I didn't know what it was. But apparently, you know, MT is you know mountains what does the damage and the actual uh, hit the damage is the hit is like how much percentage you ha you're gonna be able to hit it. I'm explaining it really badly, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. So let's see here. Let's uh, oh, I can't. Ah, uh, here's the defeat everybody. That's so stupid. Iron Sword. Okay. You cannot miss. It's about time. Alright, I got you. I got you. We got you right now. Don't worry. See, you're gonna come here, right? You're gonna take your Iron Sword. Look at that. 100%. You cannot miss. It's about time you hit somebody. You're making me insane. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't do that anymore. Music's changed, that means we have one more person to go, and I'm going to go in here and use a Vulinary, because I can. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's not going to move, okay. Let's move you here, and let's move you here. Iron Sword. Eight, and I'll take that. A cursed knight's always tampering in others' affairs. Uh, oh, oh, I missed. And there we go. And we'll take it out to Lin to take out the beast. Not really a beast, but he calls himself the beast. You need a critical, bro. You need a critical. All right, there's one. Good miss. Good miss. Good, good job. All right, you got one HP left. And she leveled up. So you're level three, right? Yes, you are. Oh, that's not such a great level up, but okay. Let's see here. And you missed. You suck. And you're dead. <laughs> ah, blast! There was only supposed to be a lone girl. And you leveled up. Level two. That's a decent level up. I like that. I'm not complaining. And that's it. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Andrew. Oh, thank you, if I do say so myself. And now for these knights of Valicia. You were going to share your story with me? Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin and Lycia in search of someone. Lycia, that's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady M M Madeline, who eloped oh, that's nice, with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our Lord, a Marcus of Kaelin's only daughter. He was heartbroken his own daughter would abandon him, so... Eventually, the Marcus simply declared that he had no daughter. Hmm. And then this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Sakai Plains. The Marcus was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face when he had when he announced it, that he had suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. This is also the name of the Marcus's wife, who passed away at an early age. Lindis? That she should bear this name thawed the Marcus's heart. Now, his only wish is to meet his daughters finally at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Malin died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. But we also learned that all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone in the plains. I, I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your depart departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her in portraits in Castle Caelan. To the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. But when I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It's all so strange. I was alone, all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather. Lindis, I never thought I would hear that name again. Wait, that bandit, he called me Lindis too. What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marcus's younger brother. 
Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Lundgren heir to the Marcus's title. To be blunt, milady, your existence is an obstacle to your grand uncle's ambitions. That's... but I have no interest in, in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your grand uncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts in your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Kaelin. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. Andrew, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Andrew? You want me to decide? Of course, your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you. Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. So we can't make our own decisions, apparently. We just, you know... I mean, I would have said yes, but still, it would have been nice to be able to make my own decision. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sakai, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. And that grand inheritance, as you probably guess, will be discovered at a next in the next episode. Next time on Fire Emblem. Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits. See you guys next time. That's a long episode. 16 minutes and 40 seconds. Peace.